everybody um, as you can see today I am on the Aprilia RS660 um, it is a customized Aprilia RS660 thanks to David Sonic Boom a uh, big shout out to you, David Sonic Boom up in uh, Fresno California where I am originally from uh, if you've been paying attention to my channel and to who I am and where I've been and where I come from. Uh, this was originally an Apex Black Edition 2023 model and um, it was a track bike originally. I owned two of them. I had a lava red version and an Apex Black version. Um, the lava red unfortunately I had to sell uh, due to California insurance rates skyrocketing back in uh, I want to say 2022 um, I was on my 8,000 mile road trip from Florida when um, hey it's a Bermuda guy um, and my insurance company had called me and told me that uh, they were pulling out of California but I could still get insurance through them but they wanted an arm and a leg uh, they wanted around like three grand up front and I was like heck no right or they wanted something ridiculous like $230 a month or something like that and that just wasn't gonna fly anymore for for two Aprilia's right so I ended up uh, getting rid of the lava red one um, to a gentleman and his girlfriend uh, down in LA they came up from LA to buy it um, when I still lived in Fresno and then I was just left with um, the apex black version and I saw started slowly turning it into a more customized um, Aprilia uh, I got the uh, stars and stripes edition uh, fairings the belly the sides and the nose I decided to uh, get rid of all the uh, stickering on it um, and started um, envisioning what my Aprilia wanted to look like so um, the tank has been custom painted to match uh, I put on a black seat of course put on some frame sliders um, threw on these levers were already on there when it was a track bike but they're still real nice so I just kept them they're the Evotec ones um, they fold that's real nice um, got the Evotec frame sliders uh, like I said earlier I ended up powder coating the rear sets black um, I got the RNG uh, tank sliders here the carbon fiber ones and got the back wheel powder coated red as well um, although I didn't hate the black wheel look if everybody knows the RS660 uh, from factory it came with two different colored wheels the front was red and the rear was black but I didn't hate it but I wanted it just to you know I wanted the I wanted the lines to kind of flow so you know having kind of a red bottom swooping up to the red rear and then kind of a white front and top with a little bit of red accent on the tank there uh, and this is the OEM um, seat cowl there that is also the Stars and Stripes edition and I had the tail painted custom red to match as well so yeah came out pretty happy and I ended up buying um, you know some custom decals as you can see the Italian lion head there I had a guy down in LA custom make those for me um, to have you know the Aprilia lion head with the Italian colors flying in its mane uh, I thought that was a pretty cool idea and it came out pretty good um, and then I got just some generic stickers off of eBay you know a guy who cuts them and stuff and he made the the red A with the black RS and the red 660 um, and then that's the OEM sticker down below from the Aprilia Racing. But yeah, and there she sits. So um, other than that, no other mods at all to the engine or suspension um, or anything else of that nature. No tune, no nothing on it, of course, because it's just all stock. Um, yeah, and I've been really happy with it. And I've owned it since 2021. It's got 10,000 miles on it now. When I had the lava red one... Um, I sold when I sold the lava red one it had I think around 15,000 miles on it 
or 17,000 miles or something. So I rode a lot on the um, Lava Red one because that one was the street bike and this one was the track bike. But now I've been riding this one uh, in the mountains a lot. And I've put about 3,000 miles on it um, within the past like year and a half or so. So yeah, she's been coming along. She's been coming along. Um, oh yeah, I got these custom not custom but I got these old school Aprilia stickers they look really slick I think I think they look really good um, so I put those on the tank and then the old school Aprilia team racing logo here on the rear fender <coughs> um, fender illuminator of course uh, that is the Robim uh, engineering one it's okay um, you know it used to kind of hit the tire a little bit but I had the suspension tuned and then I kind of bent it up a little bit just so that it'll get out of the way uh, I had the suspension tuned when it was a track bike of course to my weight and to my riding style so it fits me pretty well I'm about five six hundred fifty five pounds and um, yeah so the bike's been weighted to me and feels pretty good so um, as you can see uh, I have my fun little California 9 uh, TT route sticker there that I got from um, the trading post up there by Alice's but yeah uh, this is my other bike this is my Aprilia and uh, if you guys have seen my other videos uh, I also have the KTM uh, 390 Adventure <laughs> and uh, I love them both I love them both so much they're both so different you know, where before I had two Aprilias, now I only have one, right? And um, having two very distinctly different motorcycles uh, allows me to do a lot more. Now I can ride fast in the canyons with this thing and try to be a fast boy, right? Um, or I can just go out adventuring with the KTM and just enjoy every minute of uh, that bike as well and take it off-road and things of that nature so you know I've been debating on a starting area and I think this is going to be my starting area now uh, whenever I want to start one of my motor vlogs uh, I think it's a it's a nice little pull-off area right before where the road starts to get windy and twisty and fun so I feel like um, there's a good starting point oh a rumble bee seems to be quite a bit of traffic right now so I'm gonna kind of try to chill out for a second and let the traffic go by but uh, but yeah um, let's talk about um, ownership of the bike right so like I said I've owned it since 2021 and I uh, haven't had any major issues with it at all um, you know I know a lot of people have reliability issues uh, or questions when it comes to Aprilia, uh, especially the RS660. You know, uh, this bike, um, I think the VIN number is like number 17 or something, so it's pretty early. You know, it was only like the 17th bike made, I want to say, or something like that. I bought it out of uh, Elk Grove Power Sports in Sacramento. Um, the only uh, issue that I ever had was on, uh, I took it in for a software update for the very first time uh, at the 600 mile um, service and uh, it almost didn't turn back on uh, they were having trouble uploading the software the bike wouldn't take it so they had to get Piaggio on the phone and I believe Piaggio remote uh, remote it in through a laptop um, to be able to install the software correctly um, and then shortly after that, um, I got the bike fitted with the GP shift um, because it was a track bike, right? So got the GP shift on it. The only other two things that uh, I really aren't, you know, that aren't like perfect are uh, the gas gauge is, you know, kind of off. Um, and then this bike seems to run a lot warmer uh, than my lava red version did uh, when I mean warmer I'm talking about uh, in between my legs right 
the bike runs very cool uh, temperature wise but external temperature wise uh, between my legs I can feel a lot more heat from this bike than I did with the lava red version the lava red version was a perfect street bike it the the brake lever was a little more sensitive than this one was like I could just barely press it and it would modulate which I really liked with this one you have to be a little bit you know it has a little bit more of a of a dead spot before the brake starts to engage um, but it's fine you know it's not terrible it, it's just the lava red one was just a little bit better and the lava red one didn't have the gas gauge problem um, so it was the perfect perfect uh, street bike you know I rode that thing everywhere uh, the lava red one though when I did buy it the problem it had was the cruise control I could set it but I couldn't accelerate or decelerate uh, until they did the software update and then it was fine after that and then I was able to you know um, work it as normal so uh, but yeah but let's go for a ride now enough of me talking I love that sound of that um, parallel twin on this bike with that 270 degree crank listen to it sounds so good differences right differences between riding a sport bike and an adventure bike are pretty big you know with the sport bike you're in a much more attack mode type position although the Aprilia is not super aggressive it's not like an R6 or like a Jigsaw or like a CBR 600 it's it's a little more relaxed the triple tree with the clip-ons are a little swept up which makes it very nice uh, and then the seat on this thing is like really comfortable and the uh, pegs aren't quite as high as a traditional super sport either so uh, it makes for you know a very comfortable ride I've been able to ride this thing like 500 miles in a day and the only thing that usually hurts is just my neck Of course, this being a sport bike, you know, you gotta lean off the bike a little bit more. I see too many riders out here not use their body enough, right? And you know, you don't need to hang off the bike like you're trying to be a MotoGP rider or anything like that, but, but any, any type of body movement you can give the bike is going to be better. It's going to translate to a much smoother ride and transition from left to right. Like here, right? Lean off the left a little bit, let it come over here, and then lean off right just a little bit and bring it over to the right. You know, you don't need to do anything crazy. And it makes a huge amount of difference when you do stuff like that. Yeah, but this bike has just been uh, just been a joy to ride, especially on the track. This thing was just uh, amazing on the track for me, you know, uh, before I owned this bike on the track, you know, I had only ridden my CBR 600 double R and a Ninja 250, right? But um, when I got on this bike, I instantly felt more comfortable and faster and I was able to break my personal best by two seconds at Button Willow. So for instance, my best lap time at Button Willow was 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Uh, just at the very bottom of the A-Class, right? And on this bike, I was able to best it with a 208. So I was very happy with that. You know, because I could spend more time uh, slicing into corners, right? The brakes are better on this bike than the CBR 600 R. You know, it's lighter. It's not as it's not as uh, powerful. And the CBR had way more horsepower, but this this RS660 just had more usable power 
where I could stay in the in the power band like all the time and just have so much fun with it. Uh, which bike do I prefer riding more? Uh, you know, right now I prefer the KTM a little bit more. Oh, that's a nice uh, 350Z. Yeah, I prefer the KTM a little bit more, uh, just because it's a little more comfortable um, with the riding position, you know. And uh, I love that it's so slow. Like, I mean, it's quick. Don't get me wrong, but compared to this bike, it's slow, right? And um, and I just love that it's not trying to be a sport bike, and you can just ride it, you know. Where this bike is, you know, is much more sporty, so. You know, you tend to ride it harder because riding kind of docile like this doesn't really feel great, you know what I mean? So when you enter corners, like you want to enter corners faster all the time with these sport bikes because they just feel better when you do it that way. But when you ride them slow, they're just, they're just not any fun. I got, whew. Love that little switchback section there. It's so good. You know, sometimes I contemplate selling this bike because I like the KTM so much, but, but at the same time, like, man, I would miss riding a sport bike when I want to feel racier and sportier, you know? When I want to lean off and feel, feel the nostalgic energies of being on a track. Because, you know, I haven't, I haven't been on a track this year. This is the first time I haven't been on a track all year. Uh, since, what, like 20... 16 or something like that. I've been to the track every year or maybe even 2015 right I don't, really, I don't really remember but yeah 2024 turned a new leaf for me when it came to track riding I just don't do it anymore you know uh, especially because I moved out here to the Bay Area you know and there's a lot of track riders out here too so I just haven't gotten into it though and who knows if I ever will again because I've gotten really uh, into the, the whole adventure riding and, um, and just kind of exploring all these beautiful roads out here and stuff. So yeah, um, who knows if I'll go back to the track or not. So, you know, it's still up in the air what I want to do with this bike. And I love that it's customized to the way I want it to look, you know. So it holds a lot of sentimental value to me, you know, and it's and it's my very first Aprilia, and you know, uh, and it was my um, my second brand new bike I ever bought. My first brand new bike I ever bought was a was a 2019 uh, CBR 650R, and I really enjoyed that bike as well, but it was just too heavy. You know, and it didn't have any of the electronics like this bike has. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you guys. <coughs> you guys might not think much about electronics, but... When you have cruise control <laughs> and ride modes and stuff, oh man, the bike is so fun. Especially cruise control. You know, like... On my KTM, it doesn't have cruise control, but I bought the throttle lock to make sure that I can at least still, you know, go go uh, and lock my throttle once in a while on like long stretches, right, where I don't want to hold the throttle and stuff. So that was, um, having cruise control is a big time plus, you guys. It's one of my favorite electronic aids ever to a motorcycle. Uh, we're just going to head to the Vista point here again. See if anybody's hanging out there see what's going on it's a very nice crisp cool evening it's about 70 degrees uh, 
uh, 68 according to my bike. Hello, I love about this Aprilia. It tells me the temperature and the time and all that other good stuff. Let's see who's here. Anybody hanging out? Oh, we got, we got a few cars hanging out. And a pink little Ninja 650. Or Ninja 400, actually. Hi! <laughs> Thanks. Yours is cool too. You don't you don't see too many pink ninja 400s around. No. It's the only one I know of around here, at least. Yeah. Definitely looks cool. Everybody knows when I'm at work. Yeah. Yeah. My name's Ben. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm Violet. Violet. It matches. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Is it a wrap or is it a paint? It's a is it right? It's it's not perfect, but I think from a distance it's good enough. So. Yeah, definitely. I think eventually I might invest in fairings, but I want to upgrade soon, so I didn't want to spend like a grand on sure. new fairings and then sell the bike. Definitely. <laughs> but. How long have you How long have you had it? A little over six months. I got it in January. Okay. Good so stuff. I've had it for a while. I really I do like it a lot. I just. The appeal of a 600 is, you know. Yeah, no, I feel you. I started, I started on a um, CBR 250. I started on a Ninja 250. Yeah, <laughs> and I rode it for like a month. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like two months, and I was like, this is so slow, it feels unsafe. Yeah. I was like, I couldn't go on the freeway. Yeah, I never jumped on the freeway yeah, with no. my with my CBR 250. It just it wasn't good. Yeah. So I like this because I can go fast enough. Yeah. It's a, good, it's a good little bike yeah. yeah it's a good little bike you know these things are um you know super popular because uh, i raced with afm in 2018 really? too yeah so these things were just like you know king of the crowds you know like everybody had one of these things it runs on regular <laughs> i know you don't need to pump 91 you just pump 87 <laughs> yeah and it's got it has eco mode yeah right what that means right but, like, i'm sure it's not even bad on gas anyway so no. yeah not until you get past like 10,000 rpm right it right tanks. yeah but no doubt no doubt i like your yours is so pretty i was looking thanks at one and then i couldn't afford it so yeah you know they're pretty pricey brand new but you know you can find some used ones for a pretty good price you know yeah but but if you're into brand new then you're into I brand new <laughs> Yeah. Well, because I usually buy them and I'm like, I buy the ones with the mods that are I like. Right. Them. I already got them on there. Yeah, right. I don't want to do it. It's like, ah, oh, you already did it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, that's you smart. The, the levers that fold up. Yeah, yeah. Those are the EvoTech um, levers. Because so this, um, this was originally a track bike at first. And then I had like two of them, mm -hmm. right? And then um, one for the street and then one for the track. Mm -hmm. And then I, I stopped riding track and plus the california like insurance rates got like hella crazy uh, back in like 2021 or 2022 I'm somewhere around there I'm hit 80 a year. yeah which is so nice yeah this one i pay like 100 and then and, and <laughs> it's not bad right it's not bad. but before when i had two of them i was only paying like 120 for two of them and now i'm paying 100 for one so <laughs> yeah that's yeah i like your rear sets too thanks this one's uh, like I said, it was a track bike. It was originally like all black, and then um, since I turned it back into a street bike, I decided to get it like all custom. So this is all like. I, think I was looking at buying this one on Facebook Marketplace for a minute. Did you have it listed? <laughs> no, I didn't have it for sale. <laughs> Never had it for sale. There was a track bike that was black, and they powder coated it white, and it was. Like the same oh no! Like, so cool. <laughs> no, not this one. No, I have never posted it for sale. But I had all the work done. Like the tank, like it's all like got that pearly, mm -hmm. like white on it. You know, I got the rear wheel powder coated. I got the I don't know how the I pegs powder coated. Don't have back seats. Uh, it has one, but I took it off. It looks cooler. Yeah, and that's just the cowl. Yeah, it's just the cowl. Yeah, the rear seat is pretty nice though. Bike, rear seats in general. Yeah, it don't make a lot of sense. <laughs> Very true. 
Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. I like the shape of the tank. Yeah, it's very nice to grip onto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gives me a lot of like um, surface for like my legs and my arms to like drape over and stuff. I need to get frame sliders. Yeah. I wanted to get a cage, but then I'm like, nah, not on the 400. We hear there's some guys coming by. Oh, they're back. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> they kept going. <laughs> this is a very popular spot.